Hello everybody, welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and this is our general subject orientation for the course, Strategic Cost Management. At the end of the video, you should be able to have a basic understanding of the purpose of the subject and enumerate the lessons and topics covered by the subject, Strategic Cost Management. This is your lecturer, Kevin Troy M. Chua. Before anything else, please like, share, and subscribe to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and hit the notification bell button to alert you of the latest video lessons. For all of your questions, comments, and suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And for webinar and speakership invites, please send me a message at kevintroydachua1994 at gmail.com. Thank you very much for your utmost support for Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. And may these videos continue to help students in their online learning and academic development. May these videos continue to help teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. Thank you very much for trusting Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH as your online learning partner. And this is Strategic Cost Management. The course is designed to acquaint you the students with the role of accounting in the management team by providing and assisting in the analysis, interpretation, and forecasting of business organizations. Basically, we will be using accounting as a tool by the management for decision making. So this course is about managing not only cost but the operations in itself and we will be using accounting as a tool so that you can further analyze interpret and forecast business organizations okay and then um much of the discussions will be about strategic cost management how to properly and strategically manage and control your costs okay it covers the discussion of the foundation of management accounting so as you know management accounting is a branch of accounting that deals with decision making by owners and managers so we will be applying that here okay it's expanding role organizational structure and professional ethics for management accountants, the design of management accounting systems and evaluation of the impact of changes in business structure, functions, and appropriateness of management accounting techniques and methods, basic interpretation and use of financial statements, performance measurement for planning and control such as marginal, absorption, opportunity, costing, cost behavior, CVP analysis, quantitative techniques, and methods for planning and control. This course also deals with the application and techniques focusing on segment reporting, profitability analysis, and decentralization information for decision-making purposes, which can be both short-term or long-term, and non-financial indicators such as productivity per employee, productivity per service unit, decision-making affecting short-run operations, pricing of goods and services, and environmental cost accounting that is per the pup core syllabus in strategic cost management so basically strategic cost management is managerial control and costing systems we will be applying management accounting and we will be using accounting as a primary tool in operational decision making this is what the subject is all about Okay, what are the expectations uh, for you, the students, after completion of this course? Number one, describe strategic cost management and its importance to business organizations. So why is management accounting, why is strategic cost management important for each entity? Okay, and then understand financial statements and its components and derive insights for, from these for decision making. Since this is not a financial accounting class, we will not be talking about the preparation of these statements. Rather, we will now be focusing on the use of these financial statements to use them as well as a tool for decision making. Analyze them so that we can see the future out of it. Okay, so basically, we need to plan for the future and we will be using your previous historical information to derive insights so that you can do a decision for the future. 
okay? And then apply and relate the skills and knowledge obtained in strategic cost management, accounting, and financial reporting to arrive at a holistic approach in solving problems. Here in strategic cost management, you are expected to be creative managers because you will be taught to become good decision makers. You will be trained here to become good managers at your own uh, as a management accountant or a manager in a firm. Okay, So you need to arrive at a holistic approach in solving problems and not just being in the box that is the and as you know that's the main difference between financial accounting and management accounting we are more flexible in management accounting unlike in financial accounting where we follow standards okay so we need to arrive here at a holistic approach a very creative approach coming from you on how to solve different problems and how to make proper decisions Understand management accounting, its expanding role, organizational structure, and professional ethics for management accountants, what are expected of you guys. And know the application and techniques focusing on segment reporting, profitability analysis, and decentralization, information for decision-making purposes, which is both short-term and long-term, and any non-financial indicators that might affect the decision of the managers. Okay, We will not be only talking about computations here but rather the analysis and interpretation and even non-financial indicators that will affect your decision to contribute and add value to the entity, okay? Now, for your grading system, please check your school's core syllabus for this subject for the grading system. Well, this general subject orientation can be accessed by everyone, so pretty much everyone can access this. But if you're not from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines who will primarily use these videos, please check your school's course syllabus for the grading system. And then attend also the specific course orientation that will be conducted by your professor. Now, if you're under me, we will be having a specific course orientation which we will be talking about the grading system, the technicalities on how we will be doing these synchronous classes and classroom policies. If I should call it classroom policies, basically the class policies and uh, that's it, the grading system itself, okay? And uh, the expectations for the course, okay? So, but if you're um, watching this, uh, this will do for you the general orientation. And then check your, uh, your syllabus for the grading system of your university. Okay, so at a glance, these are the topics that we will be talking about in strategic cost management, okay? The first one is introduction to strategic cost management and management accounting. Basically, this is a management accounting class. However, we will now be using your learnings as well in strategic management and apply it in cost control. So if you combine that, that is basically strategic cost management to make you good decision makers. Okay, and then we also have cost concepts, classifications, and cost behavior. Sounds familiar. And then product costing a, uh, with the use of absorption costing versus variable costing. And then we also have your CVP or cost volume profit analysis. And then we also have your activity-based costing and service cost allocation. Sounds familiar. And then we also have your standard costing for cost control. Sounds familiar again, right? And then business planning and short-term budgetary system, differential cost analysis, responsibility accounting and performance measures, transfer pricing and pricing decisions, and balance scorecards and non-financial measures in performance evaluation. Some of the topics here are already discussed to you in your cost accounting class. However, cost accounting class is more of the computation. Okay, how much is the product cost? How much is the fixed cost? How much is the cost of goods sold under normal costing? Cost accounting is more procedural and computational. In strategic cost management, after you compute, you analyze, you interpret, you decide, and you think about it. Because here, the expectation is after you do all these computations and analysis, what will you do as a manager? And what will you do to properly decide in the choices that is in front of you for the entity? Strategic cost management, management accounting is all about 
creating better decisions that would add value to the success of the company. That's basically what strategic cost management is. And that's what we will be talking about for the whole semester. Let's look about let's look on them one by one. Okay, so uh, introduction to strategic cost management and management accounting. So we will be introdu uh, introducing you to different management concepts and strategic cost management. But if you're a graduate of the accountancy business and management strand, basically you already had your organization and management course or subject in your senior high school, I think that this will be a bit easy for you, okay? The management concepts, okay? And then we will now be also focusing on management accounting and its objectives and then the differences between financial cost and management accounting. Some of you who already watch my videos in cost accounting, you actually know about this already, that Venn diagram, right? And then management information systems and uh, accounting systems and design and different management control systems. Basically, your topic number one is the introduction of the whole subject, okay? And then for your next uh, lesson, which is cost concepts, classifications, and cost behavior. So we will be having a review from your cost accounting class of uh, cost accounting and information, the different classifications of cost like direct and indirect cost, product and period cost, you know that already. And then cost behavior, relevant range, fixed and variable cost, you know that as well. And then separation of mixed costs, which is your high-low method, least square regression and then other relevant cost concepts however uh, our attack in this subject is how you will be using it in decision making or how will you analyze it further okay so this is level two of your cost accounting that's why the prerequisite for this subject is your cost accounting because you cannot step here without completing your cost accounting subject okay so that's pretty much how it looks like and then we will also be talking about absorption costing, variable costing systems. So we have absorption costing and variable costing. And then how do we prepare an income statement under absorption costing or the gap-based income statement? And then your income statement under variable costing in which we separate your costs as to fix and variable cost. And then how do we reconcile your net income under absorption versus variable costing and how variable costing will affect your decision as a manager and how uh, variable costing is being used in decision making okay that's it and then our next lesson is cvp analysis or the cost volume profit analysis uh, what are the key concepts of cvp analysis when can you say that you have already break even broke <laughs> broke even is that, a, is that a correct English for that? Okay, break even and then the target net income. Different CVP terminologies that you need to know. And then how do you apply CVP analysis as applied to sales mix and the operating leverage and degree of operating leverage. When you say break even point, it's the level of sales or the number of units that is required by the entity to have them sold in order for them to cover all of their costs which is basically net income is zero. You're not uh, on the loss area, but you're not also on the profit area. You just, uh, you're, you're just able to cover all of your costs. So that's basically your break-even point. So that is a preemption of what we will be talking about in CVP analysis on a single product line. And then if you, uh, as you can see, we also have sales mix here. It means that we will be also talking about how to do the CVP analysis in case you have many uh, product lines, okay? And then we also have activity-based costing and service cost allocation. You know this already in your cost accounting, but we will be focusing on how to do it on a management level, okay? So, and also uh, activity-based costing and how do we compare it with traditional costing uh, what entities or what services or what manufacturing industries basically what industry is more inclined with ABC and what industry can be can relate more with traditional costing and then we will also be going back to the allocation of service costs through direct method step method and algebraic or reciprocal method 
and then we will also be talking about standard costing and variance analysis for cost control. As you can see, the title of the topic is you will be using standard costing for cost control. In your cost accounting class, you already know how to compute the variances and you have been also introduced on how to interpret those variable and uh, sorry, those favorable and unfavorable variances. Now, we will be digging deeper into analysis but siempre we will be going back to standard costing and variance analysis also for materials and labor and your overhead variances in one way two way three way and four way now we will be going deeper on price mix and yield variances for those companies who are not a single product line okay or they have numerous products to sell okay so that's our application of standard costing for cost control so this is a continuation of your standard costing system in cost accounting and control and then we will be also talking about budgeting business planning and short-term budgetary system so what is the difference between an operating budget and a financial budget and we will be preparing budgeted financial statements basically master budget preparation and analysis okay now this is short-term budgeting because your long-term or should we say capital budgeting that's already part of your financial management class okay so it's there already okay in your financial management uh, here in strategic cost management we'll be talking about the more the much shorter one which is short-term budgetary systems or master budget and then we also have differential cost analysis um, let's say for example you have a new order a special order or you want to decide if you want to drop this product line you want to drop this segment what will be the effect in net income so basically in differential cost analysis you need to determine to be able to make a decision what are the costs relevant in the problem and what are the costs that is irrelevant in what we are talking about okay relevant and irrelevant cost and then non-routine decision making we have make or buy should i make this component or should i just buy it outside what's the best option for me or accept or reject a special order i don't have excess capacity or i have excess capacity should i accept or reject this special order okay or we also have shutdown or continue operations that's very um in line or relevant today in the COVID-19 pandemic should I shut down or should I continue okay and then drop or retain a segment or product line I have a product line which is not performing well should I drop it or should I continue selling it even though it's in a loss okay and then sell as is or process further sure should I sell it at this point or if I process this further what will be the effect okay and then profit maximization and then replace or retain and then qualitative and quantitative analysis will uh, that will be applied in your decision making okay so basically it's not just about the differences in cost if there are other factors that will affect your decisions we'll be talking about that as well okay and then we also have responsibility accounting and performance measures so the concepts of responsibility accounting, goal congruence, and then um, how can we describe a decentralized entity as opposed to a centralized entity. And then we also have responsibility centers, cost center, revenue center, profit center, and investment center, and the different kinds of performance evaluation techniques. That is responsibility accounting and performance measures. We also have transfer pricing and pricing decisions. So we'll be talking about the principles of transfer pricing and how to determine the optimal transfer price. And then market price, uh, market transfer pricing, cost, and negotiation-based transfer pricing. Excuse me. And then the different factors affecting pricing decisions and how do you use the different formulas using cost plus pricing and the application of different markup percentages as applied in pricing decisions basically how much should i put the selling price in this product 
Okay? And then we also have balance scorecards and non-financial measures in performance evaluation. So we'll be talking about balance scorecards, how to develop them, and what are the other factors that might affect performance evaluation that cannot be computed through numbers. Basically, they are non-financial. And that has been our general orientation for strategic cost management and I hope that we will have a great semester together. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and hit the notification bell button to alert you of the latest video lessons. For all of your questions, comments, and suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And for webinar and speakership invites, please send me a message at kevintroy.chua1994 at gmail.com. This has been Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you and have a great day. Sarangayong.